Hello everyone and welcome to our game of World of Warships. Now first, a uh, small announcement. I will be away for the Easter weekend so there will be no video on Monday. Sorry for that. The next video will be Project Wrecked on Wednesday. I'm hopeful that I can make it. Otherwise, it will be delayed by one day. So worst case, I should have it by Thursday. With that out of the way, let's take a look at this battle. Now, I'm here in the North Carolina and we are on shards in a 3-point domination game mode. It's a tier 8 battle and there is one carrier. Now the carrier shouldn't be that big of a deal in a North Carolina, it's basically 3 plane kills. Now in the beginning of the match, somebody wrote in chat a copy. Well, I assuming he wanted to take A and B, it's also possible that he asked A or B. Nevertheless, I mean, my division made answer A and B, and that would have been a great plan, but a lot of ships here are at Point Charlie. Now on this map, when you spawn here in the north, you have more ships here at Point Charlie. Your ships are basically closer than the enemies, so you can reach that point first. But those islands really prevent you from supporting this point, you have to push pretty hard inside it. This point is basically easy to take in the beginning, but it's pretty hard to hold. So it makes oftentimes a lot more sense to take point alpha. Depends also a bit on how many destroyers you have. Now here we can, uh, Pensacola is demonstrating quite nicely what happens from the other side if you push into point alpha. This Pensacola, I mean, he has nowhere to go. He restrained himself into ground and he's a Pensacola, uh, this means he is gone. The thing is, those small channels don't let you maneuver a lot. So if you go in here and you realize it's a bad idea, there is not much you can do. There aren't easy ways to retreat. And those islands really, they provide me with cover, like those enemies can't shoot me, but the enemies couldn't support anyone who is inside this point. Now the bad news is our destroyer is in the back line. I don't know why. The enemies got the center for free. And if we had a destroyer taking point alpha, I mean, I realized that these planes might be a bit of a concern, but a destroyer could find cover behind these islands quite nicely. He could capture here without any interruption. And we are all here to provide support. If anyone, if any enemy goes into this point, he will be obliterated. All we need is a small ship inside there who is capturing for us. Fortunately, we don't have them. Now, my biggest concern right now is this tier pits. You don't want to end up in a close quarters brawl with the tier pits because the tier pits has torpedoes. And well, I mean, it's a German battleship, it has great armor and such, but this wouldn't be, this isn't the biggest problem in my opinion. The biggest problem really is the torpedoes. So, I'm turning around here. And I'm really hoping that our destroyer, who is catching up with us right now, I'm really hoping he will go in there and take the point. But so far, no luck. Now, my division mate is in a pretty decent spot here, and he is ready to push in. So I'm saying, yeah, I'll turn back around, and then we will just go in there, because we really want to take this capture point. Our efforts here in the north aren't that much paying off, which is unsurprising because we are at a disadvantage here, position-wise. So, we really need to make something happen here in the south. And yeah, we can't really take the center because we need a destroyer to go in there. And unfortunately, our destroyer isn't going into any capture point anytime soon, it would seem. Now, there are some free plane kills incoming, which is nice. And uh, I'm almost turned around and in a position to push in there. But there is a problem, and this problem is called tier pits, and the tier pits is at almost 6 kilometers, and that's his torpedo range. So I want to increase my distance to the tier pits, which means I'm opening up way too much broadside to a war spite, and the war spite well, inflicted some pretty heavy damage on me. Which means I'm now scared of the war spot and turning back in. Big mistake, because uh, <laughs> the tier pits is still a threat here. And this is just my mistake, right? I shouldn't have approached this close to these islands. 
and I got punished pretty heavily by it. I knew there was a tear pits, I knew there would be torpedoes coming, I tried to avoid them, and the war spite hit me pretty hard. I got scared of the war spite, I started to angle better against him, which means I was close enough for the tear pits to get hit by torpedoes. So, all around, I screwed up, and now I'm at pretty low health. But you know, mistakes happen, and this is far from over. I still have 4 heals, although I can't deal most of the damage I have taken, but still. And I'm still floating. Now there are some planes poking here, an airstrike now could be pretty problematic, but my catapult fighter is almost ready again. My mission mate is here as well, and with two North Carolinas we can pretty much clear the skies. Now currently I am taking this capture point, the north looks pretty bleak, our carrier might also be in trouble, there is a destroyer coming for him, looks like our carrier is launching his planes to defend himself, let's hope that our carrier can make it. And here come the torpedo bombs, now I'm, <coughs> I'm not in a position where I can maneuver, uh, sorry. Now I'm in a pretty bad spot, those torpedo bombers are not coming for me, which I really can't understand. Instead of trying to finish me off, he tries to strike my division mate, and my division mate is dodging those rather nicely. So... Yeah. Well, good news, we have this point, and we can now muster our forces here and just push towards the center. Now there is once again uh, the dreaded tear pits and I'm once again in a pretty bad spot but this time the, those islands provide some sort of cover right. If he's launched in an angle here those torpedoes should go past me. And I, if I keep this part of the island in front of me I should be safe. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm waiting here to see if any torpedoes come and if there are no torpedoes I can safely get past this island. Now the tear pits who has led us on a merry chase, is now coming around. Now the Tirpitz really should try to meet up with the rest of his team. He... The, this Tirpitz, he has used this terrain rather well, but he doesn't have any support, and there is only so much he can do by himself. Now if he gets around here, maybe he can take somebody with him, like the Cleveland, if he can to serve God, but... Ultimately, this Tirpitz is rather doomed here alone. Now, I got some nice hits on a hippo. His hippo is soon gone, and I'm also slowing down and let my division mate take the lead. He has more hit points, and really, he should be at the front line right now. And I will stay a little bit behind him. Hopefully, my team can take out this tear pits without too much trouble. And hopefully we can now take the center. Now we've lost our carrier, enemy carrier is still around. The enemy also have one more destroyer. The enemies have more points, so it's not looking too good. This poor Bismarck here in the north is going down. But, you know, we finally managed to take out the tear pits. So at least our team is together here. So it's looking great in that regard, and I'm getting a few shots off at this man, but only one over penetration. Now I have ships here in front of me, so they should spot incoming torpedoes ahead. But I'm still I'm pointing my ship in that direction. It's highly likely that there will be torpedoes coming my way. And our destroyer is launching some blind torpedoes. Maybe they'll get lucky. Now it will take a little bit of time until the enemy forces arrive. If the enemies all stick together and push in here as one, this could get rather tricky. And I really have to watch my hit points. Now we are capturing, so the enemy destroyer is not in the cap circle. And there are some more plane kills incoming. Ah, watch it them explode. 
It's nice to see them. Or from the skies. And those bombs missed. So, nice. I'm already at 24 plane kills. We'll carry up. Now there is an Alabama coming. Alabama is pretty similar to the North Carolina I'm currently in. Uh, his advantages of the uh, Peter protection won't matter in this battle. And if he is showing broadside, this might end up in my favor. Now I'm showing a little bit too much of my broadside here as well in order to get those guns pointing. But I'm getting lucky here. Now I'm turning back in. And hopefully with the next salvo I can finish this. And when the big salvo arrived I was perfectly angled so that worked out quite nicely. Unfortunately his last secondary shell just set me on fire. And I'm also touching some torpedoes which is a nice bonus and there is a Bismarck coming this Bismarck. Yeah, he could be a problem. If he unleashes a salvo now, I'm in a lot of trouble. Now I'm trying to increase the distance and... Well, at least the Bismarck has already taken a lot of damage because he's showing broadside quite nicely. And my division mate is going for it. He has the hit points, he can tank this Bismarck. And hopefully he can't distract the Bismarck. It looks like the Bismarck switched the secondary focus on my division mate, which is nice for me because Bismarck could take me down here pretty fast, even though I'm angled. There's also a New Orleans, which is proving to be troublesome. I don't really have shots at the New Orleans and I'm at such low health that I can't be taken out quickly. Now the destroyer is spotted. I should probably go for the destroyer right here and I'm... Actually, I tried aiming at the destroyer here, but I think it, yeah, I missed. Destroyer is in smoke. But I will leave those guys to my division mates and I will try to finally sink the New Orleans because I now do have shots. The New Orleans is pretty low health. So let's hope I can get her. Now I'm also presenting a pretty easy target for the Bismarck who has been ignoring me so far but currently I'm in a bad spot no matter what I do I guess at least I have a lot of range on the Bismarck right now and he's more focused on the ships closer to him. But by now if I sink it doesn't matter anymore we are sinking this Bismarck no matter what then there is only the carrier remaining and there isn't much the carrier can do, the carrier might also be pretty low on planes or out of planes anyway by this time. So, yeah, this is a victory. Now the rest of the battle was just me capturing the Charlie point and we never found the carrier so we won by points. So let's just jump to the results. So I managed to get myself 2597 base experience and I'm really happy with that result. My division mate, shout out to him, had similar battle than mine. We shredded a lot of planes together and we enemy carrier. Anyway, I made a pretty big mistake there. I took a lot of unnecessary damage because I wasn't careful enough in my push, but you know, nevertheless, managed to stay afloat. And we proceeded to win this battle. I earned myself first blood, dreadnought and devastating strike. I scored 145,000 points of damage, which isn't that much, but I still think it was an interesting game. And yeah, it shows me making a bit of a mistake, but you know, everybody does at times. I still found it an interesting battle. I hope you enjoyed watching that. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and also, happy Easter.